Unai Emery is a thing of the past for Arsenal fans now. So who's going to take charge? First of all, Craig, your reaction on the sacking itself? No, I think it had to happen. You know, disappointing because he's had success elsewhere, uh, particularly at Sevilla. Uh, some encouraging sides, sort of midway through last season when they went on, I think they went on a great run. Mm -hmm. Fell away at the end, didn't they? Yeah, they, they fell away. To... Yeah, fell away at the end, and even their home form at the end. And uh, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, be laughing at his 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 language as some are, you know, because he's you know tried to do everything in English, and sometimes it didn't come out correctly. But at least he tried, and I think it got caught in the translation sometimes about how well they had done when they had got beaten and stuff like that. And I just think the generalisation was there were there's no clear plan of where they were going, and I think it was. Best for all, Tottenham made a decision to cut their manager. We wondered what Arsenal would do, and I think they've made the right one in, in letting them go. Let's see if they can make the right one and bring somebody in. Yeah, do you think that they will have their targets already arranged? Are they that organised? They should have. It's, it's criminal if they're not, right? Yeah, I think they probably have. Whether you can pull that off or not remains to be seen. So uh, okay. there are a few runners and riders, as you can see here, <laughs> and no, Arsene Wenger's not coming back. All right, I wouldn't not selecting much. him. Not selecting Arsene Wenger. I'm not selecting Carlo Ancelotti. Uh, I really like Brendan Rodgers, I'm really, but I don't think they're going to be able to price him out of Leicester. Uh, but I think he would be a great choice for them. Uh, Lundberg's going to be taking over short term, but he's not going to be getting the job. So uh, I'll tell you who I'm looking at. I'm looking at Allegri, Espirito Santo, and... I suppose, I don't know, Eddie Howe. So where are you going for number three? Then? I'm not looking at Pochettino, no. as people have suggested. No. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't he wouldn't do it, right? He wouldn't, no, he wouldn't. And, and I don't see the point in him jumping in there. Right. I don't see it. He had a better team at Tottenham. Yeah. Uh, Ancelotti, I don't see. Uh, and he's, he's going to be thinking loyalty as well, isn't he, Brendan Rodgers? Right, I'll tell you what, I'm going to change. Oh. I'm, I'm going to change. I'm going to say... No. Oh. I, I would probably put him at number one, potentially. For your target, if you were, if you were trying to replace him. Yeah, yeah, but I'm wondering whether they can get him out of Leicester. Don't mention loyalty to Celtic fans <laughs> when he went to Leicester midway through the season because they want to kill him, right? He couldn't go back. I mean, I, could, I struggle to go back to Glasgow. He definitely can't go back. In fact, if I do go back, I'm putting him in front of me. But are you seriously saying... That he would, well, he, after all that he said, that he would then leave the project do you, at this juncture you listen, for, for Arsenal. Have you listened to Brendan Rodgers' press conferences? A number. He says some, he's a very good coach, but he says some, some things. I don't think it'll happen, that's why it's at three. I'm saying he's a very good manager. Number two, Allegri. Got the tactical now to sort them out, you think? Yes. Okay. Uh, Fancy the Premier League? Possibly. Fancy London? Yes. All those things. But the reason I'm doing this is because I know for a fact it's been reported in England quite a lot. Yes. And it's not that I think he's a better manager than Allegri or Rodgers, but the big reporting coming out of a lot of people in England uh, is Nuno Espirito Santo and the George Mendes parallel, How's that, how would that work at Arsenal if indeed it would? But Wolves won't want to lose him, but the talk is, he's not my number one choice, but I think he's the most likely to get the job. He's done a really good job, hasn't he? He, has. he spent money, but he has done a really, really good job at Wolves, as he is doing at the moment at Leicester, they're in the title race. Mikel Arteta, I have to say, would be somebody I think they would think about. I forgot about him, actually. I didn't see him. <laughs> the reason I'm not putting him in is because, it's only my opinion, I think Guardiola will stay at Man City for a certain amount of time, and I've got a feeling that City may promote from within, and he is the right-hand man for Guardiola, and I think he'll be thinking, what do I want to go to Arsenal right. for and try and manage this mess right. when I possibly can have this job? in 18 months, two years' time. And, and a clue may be emerging in the words of Guardiola saying that they wouldn't do anything mid-season anyway. It would be a case of them reassessing his future. Like, to your point, maybe he's the successor there, but he would assess his future in the summer and they would make their decisions yeah, on that. Yeah, they might, Man City might not want to, when Guardiola finally goes and he will, 
uh, because we know he moves on after a certain amount of time. Uh, I got a feeling City won't go out looking for somebody else. I think they might promote from within. He's in a very good position, so that's why he's not on the list. OK, so Nuno Espirito Santo is the number one pick. What do you think will happen at the Emirates Stadium? Arsenal need a manager. There's a few candidates to pick from. Let us know in the comments, as always. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.